Hello everyone, welcome back to one Armed Robber. Today we're doing the Liquor Heist again, but this time we're going to do this stealthily without using a single gun. A quick shout out to the real Captain Oof who left a comment saying he did this heist without using a single gun. So let's get this one started. To start this heist, we're going to just grab a duffel bag and a lockpick. From the truck, we're going to go to the front of the store, walk right past the front door, and go to the first door that we see on our left and lock it with our lockpick. After we unlock this door, we're going to go to the alleyway here. Follow right behind this guard and turn off the alarm for the security tag. Next, we're going to go back to the door that we just unlocked. Open it, grab our duffel bag, go up these stairs, and the wine cellar key card should be on the table. After we grab that, we're going to open up this window, jump out this window, open up this next window, and go into the hallway here. Going down this hallway and going down these stairs, we're at the utility room. Use our lockpick to unlock the utility room and turn off the alarm. Next, we're going to go up the stairs again, open up this window, Jump out this window and land on the trash can to avoid getting hurt. Go through the front door of the liquor store and set our bag right in front of the wine cellar. Now before we go into the wine cellar, we're going to get ourselves ready and go back to the truck and grab all the bags. Now that we have all our bags, we're ready for the tricky part. Grabbing our wine cellar key card, we're going to unlock the vault door. Next, what I recommend doing is grabbing our lockpick, going inside to the first door and unlocking it as fast as we can. Once we get caught, drop the lockpick, wait for this guard to come in and do his check-in. Once he checks around, sees nothing, he's going to return back to his post. Once he does that, we're going to pick up our lockpick and unlock the next door to our right. Once again, once we get caught, drop the lockpick. The guard's going to come in, do his check-in, rinse and repeat with the rest of the doors. Now with doors 3, 4, 5, and 6, you got to do a little bit something different. First, you're going to grab the lockpick, unlock door 3 as fast as you can. Once you get caught, come into the corner over here and wait for the guard to return to his post. Once he does, quickly do four, five, and six the same way by going out there, getting caught, and returning back into this cubby hole. Now be careful while sprinting in this room. If you accidentally bump into one of the doors that you previously unlocked, it'll open the door and it might trigger the alarm by going through the lasers. Now after all the doors are unlocked, it's time to disable the lasers for each door individually. Starting with door one. Simply flip the blue switch and hit the green button. Next we're gonna go out here. If we get caught, we're gonna wait for the guard to go in. Once he does, I'm going to pre-open this door, grab a duffel bag, wait for him to leave, and quickly hop in here. Now we can loot door one in peace. Once we have all the bottles from door one, we're going to simply go out here and place it in the lobby here. Grab another duffel bag. Now when you're ready to disable the next alarm, what I recommend doing is getting caught early by the camera so the guard doesn't have to travel as deep into the wine cellar so you can hide in the cubby hole in the back. So we'll just come out here, get caught by this camera right here, and quickly go into the corner here. The guard should only come in halfway through the wine cellar and go back through. Now we're ready to disable alarm two, which is simply yellow, green, red. Take our duffel bag, pre-open this door and wait out here for this guard to do his check-in, rinse and repeat. For door three, simply do yellow, green, red, blue. After looting door three, now it's time to empty our bags. Instead of taking these bags one at a time back to the truck, simply take them all at one time. To do this, grab our first bag, hit escape, let go of left click, hit escape again. Next, grab the next bag, hit escape, let go of left click, rinse and repeat. Once we have all the bags in our hand, we're going to simply jump over something and it's going to put it all into one bag. We're going to jump over this table. As you can see, all the bags are empty and it's all in one bag. This one bag is $57,000. As soon as we put it down, it should explode. Next, we're going to take everything out of the bag so that way we can have more bags to take more loot. Now we're on to door four. Once again, get caught early and go into the corner. For door four, it's simply green, yellow. Once we loot door four, it's now time to move on to door five, which is simply the green switch. And hit the button. Open the door, and we're gonna get caught, and wait for the guard to do his check-in. And now we're ready for the last door in the wine cellar, door six, which is simply green, blue. Hide underneath the camera, and simply go in. And after looting the final bottles in door six, we have looted all the doors in the wine cellar. And after taking them back to the truck, we can walk away with $101,000. But there's still more loot to take. The two walls outside the vault also contain wine bottles. To get these wine bottles, what I recommend doing is getting caught by this camera, which is going to trigger that guard to come in and check on us. And go into this wall real quick and putting them into our bag real quick. Now be careful when you're grabbing one. If you accidentally grab one in front of a guard, he will spot you as carrying something illegal and you might fail the mission. So simply keep doing this until you get all the ones on the left side of the wall. As you can see, we looted the entire left side for $120,000. Now, the right side. But this right side you have to worry about because you have this guard, but you also have the guard at the main door watching. So like before, we're going to trigger the guard to go into the vault. 
simply go over here real quick and start looting as fast as we can. But only grab it temporarily because the guard at the front door might see you occasionally. And so that we don't accidentally click on this guy and accidentally tie him up, what I recommend doing is actually run into him and pushing him out of the way. And after looting the wine cellar and both walls outside the wine cellar, we're walking away with $137,000, but there's two more bottles that we can't forget. The first bottle is on the left right here next to this guard that we've been tricking all this time. And the last bottle is on the main counter. Simply just grab our bag, put it at the counter here, and we're simply just going to not nudge it off into our bag. Grab our bag, and now we can walk out the front door of the liquor store. And as we head back to the truck, we are now walking away with $138,000, and you can see we did not use a single gun to complete this heist. Simply end the heist, and just like that, this is how you do the liquor heist without using a single gun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next video.